Hey everyone, it's Amy here, and today we're completing part 13 of the Vintage Blooms scrapbook album. This is a 24 part series, so that means that we are just over the halfway hump, but if you wanna see a sneak peek of all the rest of the pages, you can head to the link in the description box, and you can see all 24 pages put together on my website. This background is my second favorite background of the whole entire album. My first favorite is the same exact pattern, but in the hot pink. I just love it so much. I think it's so pretty, um, but the blue is beautiful too. It kind of reminds me of like China, like that blue China vibe, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I just think it's so pretty and elegant looking, so I decided to go with the blue on blue theme, um, but then of course I'm adding some of the other colors from the album in with the embellishments. These little foam dots are so awesome. They raise it up just enough to create some dimension for the page, but they don't raise it up too much where it's just kind of like, what the heck, why is that so tall? <laughs> and I think I got these dots from um, the Dollar Tree and I have literally had them forever and you can see how many um, little squares are still on the sheet. So definitely a great buy. Check out the Dollar Tree if you ever need some staples crafting supplies. Um, I've gotten scissors from there, exacto knives, paper pierces, um, just anything you name it and their section is growing and growing pretty much each month their Dollar Tree is really stepping up to the plate this picture that I'm using on this layout today is so freaking cute it's a picture of my mom and my brother obviously at an aquarium I don't know where I don't remember this trip um, there's pictures where I was a part of the trip and I wasn't that little so I'm not sure why I don't remember it it might be the trip we took to Baltimore I got no clue but I just think this picture is so cute of my mom and my brother when he was little I thought I was going to add this cute little blue box embellishment that came out of like a calendar scrapbook set from Michaels um, down to the bottom there, but I decided not to. I don't really know why. It basically just because it was just too boxy. You know how many squares are on the page right now? It needed some more organic shapes and stuff, so that's why I added the birdcage there, and I think it looks cute. Here I'm doing my favorite trick that I learned from the Frugal Crafter. If you don't want to get out your thread but you still want to make it so that your button looks finished and complete, use a paper scrap. I mean obviously that's like a genius idea when you're scrapbooking because everything's pretty much all paper anyways. Um, but when you have like plastic buttons and things like it's not really the first thought that comes to mind. So when I saw the Frugal Crafter do this on her channel I was like that is amazing genius. I love it. Um, so now I use it all the time and I always thread my buttons with a piece of skinny paper rhinestones I got like three or four years ago in Canada from the Dollarama um, but they are so pretty and I just love them so much and the sparkle on them is amazing. Before I add my photo to the page I'm just going around and adding on some finishing touches like those little stickers there um, but that pretty much completes this layout so I hope this layout inspires you to create something of your own um, and if you do tag or make anything inspired by me make sure you tag me I'm on all the social media at Mimi Lee Made and as always you can grab this layout for your own album at the link in the description. Bye guys!